You got to get up and move it, move it. You want to lose weight? You want to stay healthy? got to move it all day long. Turn the music on. Move it. Hear that music? Come on. Hey, here we go with another mukbang. We have um, white pizza uh, with some cheese and uh, looks like pesto, some regatta. And then on the side, if I feel like it, I made myself a little sauce. So yeah, we're ready to dig in. All right. Enjoy my mukbang. Oh, hello, hello, my friends. How are you today? It is also very nice to see you today. I'm just going to rearrange my camera a little bit so you can see what we're having tonight for our mukbang. How are all you guys doing? You know who this is. It's your girl, Hungry Mama Me, here with another mukbang for your entertainment. Or not. Anyway. I went out with my daughter today and the kids were hungry. So Bella and Nina were hungry and Bella says, oh, can we get pizza? So, okay. And we got some pizza. And let me show you, I'm not going to keep it in the box because it is just too, too big. So here is this lovely pizza. Can you see how big these are? They're like humongous in size, my friends. Um, I don't even know what I got. I don't even know what we got here. We shall see. Right? Let me just record this real quick we'll do it really quick i promise we truly will okay here we go with another mukbang we have um white pizza uh with some cheese and uh looks like pesto some regatta and then on the side, if I feel like it, I made myself a little sauce. So yeah, we're ready to dig in. All right. Enjoy my mukbang. So I guess you guys heard that. Um, this looks like delicious olive oil on here unless it's from the pesto it looks like it's green the olive oil and that's the very best kind of olive oil you can get I do know I don't know but we shall see we'll give it a try and see okay here we go, here we go. Bite right in. Ooh, how is that? Was it good? I bet you it was. So for the cheese, I'm gonna really guess that the cheese is, maybe we should put that there. Can you read that there? I bet you can. I bet you can. My well, son's right there, yeah. Maybe give it a bite. I'm hungry. Mmm. All I had today was oatmeal. So, I am hungry. 
And then actually I found a vegan bar. Um, that only has, I think it said 135 calories and it was vegan. But boy, it was good. Really was very good. The baby enjoys them too. I give him one of those when he wants a snack. Yeah, he really likes them. So, this is quite good. Not bad at all. No sauce, you know, just the cheese. I'm sure this has got to be regatta, fresh regatta. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's very good. Um, so I had to go out and run some errands today. Oh, that's nice. That's nice olive oil. It is. I definitely like good olive oil. I want to see it green. I want to see it no GMOs, first press, delicious. Also, I like it non-filtered. If you can get that, you can't always get that. But we went to um very briefly, we ran into Marshalls because Bella needed headphones. I'm not used to eating ricotta. and cheese and this is like an overload. Just too, too much for hungry mama me guys. I mean, no, <laughs> look. I like it, yes. But I, I do, do not just because I'm not vegan anymore, I still do not indulge in all this. And I normally make the pizza at home myself, and I don't put a lot of cheese at all. And I make sure I eat fresh mozzarella, and for me, that's a good thing. But anyway... She needed headphones. And Marshall's always usually has a good variety of um, headphones. Good price. And I go through more earbuds. I listen to a lot of YouTube. A lot of different things. Not just mukbangs, but a lot of different things in general, you know. And doggone, every time I turn around, they like get a short in them. And you got to get rid of them and buy a new pair. But I guess I do get my use out of them. I 
I mean, we had beets, if you know what beets are, B-E-A-T-S. Um, same thing, we had the head beets. Um, they did not last us long at all before they got that short in them, and they were done. And I take care of them. I don't pull them out of my ears and... I'm sure any of you guys wear headphones or earbuds, let me know if the same thing happens to you. If you wear them a lot, do you go through them quick? This is a very good pizza. It's nice, it's thin, it's crispy. Absolutely. This, this place was rated number one for a few years. And it's just a little hole in the wall place. And I mean a hole in the wall. It's in like a shopping center area. And if you take five steps, you're gonna pass it. It goes a little back into the building, not this way. But, They do a heck of a business and they got lots of different types of pizzas to choose from. Which I like. And for me, probably pizzas. One of my very favorite meals. Love it. And where else did we go? Five below? Did you ever hear of that? I have not been in that place too many times, maybe once or twice, but my kids love it. Everything there is below $5, $5 or below. Um, I mean, they have all kinds of things. This was the first time that Nino went in there Oh my gosh. He was pointing at everything. He wanted everything. He also has now learned about Toys R Us. I don't know that he's ever even been in there but you drive by. And he sees the sign and yells, Toys R Us. He, he likes to watch videos, you know, on YouTube. So, may, you know, maybe some of the kids go to, to Toys R Us. I don't know. Also, another little boy he watches goes to Chuck E. Cheese. So we learned about Chuck E. Cheese really fast.
when we get in a car to go someplace, he'll say, Chuck E. Cheese, yes, yes. Or, we're going to the park, yes, no, maybe. Come on, baby, you just turned two years old. I was putting them in the car today. Um, he didn't want to get in the car. So, normally I let him walk and I hold his hand, but I went to pick him up. And he said to me, Put me down now. I was like, Oh my goodness. I mean, they, they go from not talking. It's. Ah. He never ceases to amaze me. He doesn't even know what it means. Like, you know, he's not trying to be a wise guy. I've just always been a kid person. And I love it. Can you see my green? Do you know the dinosaur behind me? If you follow my videos, you know that I got a bouncer for Nino. Dino the dinosaur. The kids were playing so rough in it last night. I'm not going to say I think. I know for sure we have to have a hole. I filled it up this morning. What can you do, right? I'm going to try to see if I can find the hole and patch it. Kids are kids. Bella was bouncing down on it. And when she'd bounce down, the baby would fly up in there. And he thought it was, I never heard him laugh so hard. It was worth hearing him laugh like that. Hmm. One thing I'll tell you. I have another whole piece in there. Not happening. No, no, no. Not tonight. Too much. But. Definitely am enjoying it. So how you guys been? What have you been up to? Let me know. What have you been doing with your summer? It is officially summer, you know. So what have you been doing? Do you have your kids home? Are you a kid? Or 
a young teenager. What are you guys doing for summer? Anything exciting? Anybody going away on vacations? Do your kids go away to camp? What do you guys do? No. Bella and Mia used to go to camp up to, they didn't go last year, but they went the year before. Camp has got so outrageous in price. Each kid is over $200 a week for camp. Mm. That was crispy. Yeah. And then, you know, in camp, they go do things. You got to have money for that. So you're talking $500 a week for Bella and Mia to go to camp. Who can really afford to do anything anymore? I don't know. Things are just crazy. And I think all kids should have the opportunity to be able to go and enjoy camp. Maybe not every year, but at least a few times a year, a few times in their lifetime, for sure. I know I went to camp. My sister went to camp with me. It was a memory that nobody can take away. We had the greatest time ever. Wasn't a sleepover camp or anything, nor nor was the one they went to. But I can remember going to the lake and swimming, just doing a, a hiking, doing all sorts of unbelievable things. It was the best time. So. You really like to allow your child to be able to get to the opportunity to the opportunity to at least do it once in a lifetime because it's definitely a neat thing to do anyway my friends I am full <laughs> I would really like to eat this but I would be really overdoing it. My mind keeps telling me, do it, do it. And my belly keeps saying, don't do it, don't do it. So I'm not going to do it. So thank you for coming to my mukbang. Thanks for allowing me into your home. And I appreciate you coming into my home and having dinner with me. That's always a plus. And until I see you tomorrow, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, ring that bell right there. I know you see that. Give it a little ring-a-ding-ding -ding so you be so you can become part of our notification family. And also in my description, please make sure 
I have my Instagram, I have my Twitter, and I have my address. Give me a, a, a line. So until I see you tomorrow, God bless and I'll be seeing you.